Now Divine Masculine want to know why he's... I don't know. What's his next move, I'm going to say? But I wrote it down, so I'm going to say it. Karma's got it confused. Stingy. Judged. Created their character. Trying to do it first. Whole time Divine Feminine is now playing the game. So it's like they were being set up to believe that Divine Feminine wanted to do this, then the third, so that they could pretend to be this, then the third, so that they could get caught. Because it's like every time Divine Feminine want to do something, now all of a sudden you have the want and will to do it so divine feminine was never procrastinating it was a test for these karmics because they were trying to create blockages on divine feminine and divine feminine doesn't do like deathly karma so it's like um in order to bring forth the people that attack divine feminine she had to pretend like oh i'm not worried about them i just want to do this that, and the third so now that they've claimed to be it, and it's, it's like they're trying to ask Divine Feminine how to do this, but Divine Feminine can't answer because that's not Divine Feminine's um, desire. Her desire is what she's already doing, what she's already working on. Get out. Um, but no tit for tat. It's learning and sharing lessons and moving on. Yeah. So basically, it was like teaching them a lesson on not judging people or trying to cause, cause whatever, like, you know, that would be life changing. Decisions that cause problems, because you don't know what somebody's mission or purpose is for what they do, what they do. You live life, go with the flow, and whatever happened, happened. It may cause you harm or pain or whatever, but it's a lesson for you. Everything in life is meant to happen as a lesson. But when you try to cause and plan and put together stuff that will disrupt the rotation of things is when it becomes a problem because you're not only causing other people to procrastinate, you're causing them to believe that the direction they're taking is what they're supposed to be taking when they're not supposed to be taking that journey because it's probably a part of yours and by you allowing somebody else to do it it's like it's not meant for them it's not meant for you to put your big ass foot in a little ass slipper and think you're gonna be comfortable but how you react determine how you react determines your karma so you you defending yourself putting people in their place and telling them what it is like don't ever try to put me in that category is only you standing in your power but if you react with um trying to attack them back or tell them false information that's when you receive the bad karma because instead of you telling them like nah this ain't that and then move on from it and continue doing what it is that you normally do don't go back and forth with these niggas because they'll put you in a situation where you worry um and the decision you make on purpose. So they made the decision on purpose. Like they literally sat there and made this plan to stop Divine Feminine from being what Divine Masculine, you know. This, I don't know. But if you literally let people convince you about something that you know that you asked for. It's like, I didn't ask for Divine Masculine. Well. Hmm. It's like, I asked for him, but I already experienced him and he passed away. But then it's like, I was getting guidance. Like, this your second chance. What if this is him reincarnated or something like that? Or blah, blah, blah. Like, he don't look exactly like him, but he has all the qualities similar to him. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so you could definitely yeah and it's like you see the attractiveness to him you see the potential in him you see everything that you would require for your application <laughs> but maybe you got something better <laughs> coming so don't ever um get discouraged of our option not being on the same page as you divine masculine is being tested 
now because he's seeing these karmics for who they really are. Time has passed and these karmics have been going through a lot of emotional, like a lot of, a lot of stuff, like. Not only is does this and that's what that private investigator is. Not only is this private investigator investigating divine feminine, but also the people that the masculine um got the information about divine feminine from. So no. The only information that was given on divine feminine is her habits. I'm pretty sure information on these comics was that, yeah, they are out here doing this, then the third day. And then it, it rang back on Divine Masculine that all the conversations that they had with their exes about, yeah, I was with him and I finessed him out of $40 and I ain't have to do nothing with him was a lie. Yeah, um, I'm finna go, I'm finna uh, go over here and do this and the third or whatever. It was a lie having to stay with an ex and not doing nothing with that ex was a lie and it's like i'm with you but i'm confused if this being number two moved in with this ex that she left because divine masculine's first baby mama was caught in bed together without the baby mama number two because she said that they would have threesomes with her boy the bm number two boyfriend would have a threesome with divine masculine's first baby mama but she caught them in bed with each other and told them to have each other have a great life left out and ran into the masculine and started and that's how they started their relationship It's weird. This masculine bump into people, heart be broke, and then be like, okay, you know what? Yeah, she uh did that with him, and blah blah blah. I might as well be with you, you know, blah blah. You know, it happens something in common, and we could talk about it and heal from it together, and all type of stuff like that. But it's like, what if she's still messing with your baby mom? It's like these bisexual females really be gay whole time lesbians and they pretend to be with these masculines to you know if the if they girlfriends are bisexual is to take these bisexual females from these men But now that this masculine is realizing everything that's happening, like the report that he getting back from these hoes is that everything they said about Divine Feminine is really about them. He's defending his energy. He's trying to take back his energy. And with doing that, he's realizing what these karmics done did in his energy. And he realizing like, dang, I didn't allow her to do that because only time I allow her in my energy is when I was there with her. So by her going off using my energy without me knowing, that explains a lot. So now he has an agreement with his ancestors to prove his innocence. Uh, comic feminine thought communicated with divine feminine. So while he was contacting his ancestors for guidance, that is uh like he... I guess ask for protection or he know how to keep information separate from other thoughts or something like that. Mm. Yeah, I thought that he was connecting because when she tried to connect with Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine wasn't answering. And it's like, oh, so y'all trying to be secretive. And he, then she tried to cause problems with Divine Masculine so that he could pull on Divine Feminine's energy. But she wasn't answering. And she, Kermit, caused Divine Masculine to believe that Divine Feminine was no longer interested in him, which caused Divine Masculine to um, <laughs> they said put his big boy pants on and, and you know, try to pack up his stuff to leave. And a karmic 
ended up pregnant or something. I don't know. But don't know what's going on with Divine Masculine because he's being shut off and he's not really. It's like. I don't know. He's more serious about. Like he's starting to question her. Like she'll ask him something and he like, why? Or what you need to know that for? Or uh, I'm just I'm just curious, like no. Stepping into power, seeing too many times karma hit karmic feminine. <laughs> so in the beginning, he was testing divine feminine. And then um you know, the information that he could have been getting back was from the people that was spreading rumors that was going against Divine Masculine anyway, saying like, yeah, she was with such and such and they was in the car together and blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, but what does that, what does that even mean? And how would they know that this nigga paid for pussy or any of that stuff? But it's already been proven to me that that's what it is because when... I was being tested by this one dude. I was asking questions or gathering information and still didn't choose to to open that door because you're married. You didn't call your wife when I asked you to to tell her to see. And even if it was, as far as my values, I wouldn't have done it because I know that you're married. So that would be karma on me. And it's like, well, I told her I didn't lie to her about it and she still chose to. So the karma is really on her. But it's like, and then, like, after talking to this setup dude, um, we were at the table at the park sitting talking. And the BM number two was like, yeah, I already know what to do to you grabbing on his nipples and stuff. Like, I know what gets to you and all this stuff like that. So it's like, y'all hoes is sending these niggas to me so that when the masculine starts testing y'all, Y'all gonna be the ones to prove and to be the ones to do the stuff that y'all claim that Divine Feminine did and Divine Feminine by not changing and staying in her power and trying to manifest and heal from her past situations, not even worried about this masculine, only proves that they lied and the decisions that he made was off of lies and that just caused him to take a step back, take a breath, and take a break from being with so many females and the karmic feminine thought that yeah i'm the one making him want to be a faithful man you always out here letting him do any and everything that's why da, 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 da. and it's like no it's really divine feminine y'all pulling on her energy but because y'all using y'all looks and sex and y'all little attitudes and stuff that turn him on like He's realizing, like, I really need to grow up. I, I got things to do to take care of. And it's not, it's no longer working for me or something like that. So, and it's causing the karmics to panic because they have no contact with the divine feminine. So they don't know because divine feminine would, you know, manifest with him and tell him like, yeah, I'm glad you're about to do this and the third. But not even divine feminine knows the masculine's next move. So you hoes could stop pulling on my energy and stop being afraid of the karma that y'all going to receive. It just know that whatever y'all try to do to divine feminine is going to be done on to y'all. It's going to be returned to center of karma, all that stuff like that. Now, as far as divine masculine, he probably do something else to y'all or convince divine feminine to do something to y'all y'all don't know and that's why they don't want them together they definitely don't want them together now because i'm telling y'all if y'all would have released this masculine early on y'all wouldn't have to deal with so much karma but y'all adding on interest to y'all karma because y'all not you feel me y'all not y'all are not The agreement, you feel me, it's not. So I feel like the longer the karmic holds on to this masculine, like that's crazy. They say over my dead body, well, y'all get back together and then I won't have to deal with the karma. 
but then you leaving your kids to deal with that how how you feel me and then your kids gonna put you ain't never gonna be able to rest spiritually you gonna always forever be on this earth walking around not being able to rest because your kids they're gonna be mad at you for what you are now allowing them to go through because of what you didn't take responsibility for for the decision that you made that's selfish as fuck that now your kids gotta go through all this karma because somebody gotta pay it off so that's why whatever i did i admitted it i handled it and i'm glad i ain't you feel me i've always been this way kind hearted open helpful caring a healer all that shit not even knowing that when you have kids your karma could be passed down to them i know like in real life if you have like debt that once you die your kids don't have to deal with that debt what do you think spiritually and it's, it could be even worse so that's why you got to put your kids on let them know what it is what it ain't because ain't nobody gonna be able to take advantage of my kids i don't care if they do have a disability bitch they're gonna tell your ass straight to your face no i don't want and they ain't gonna misuse mistreat convince nobody to do nothing that they don't want to do if you don't want to be in a relationship with me okay cool but don't be trying to come with me if you see I get this scholarship and I go to college and all this other stuff. And that's why people should wait until after college anyway, because it's causing a lot of distance between you. You distracted because you don't want to leave this person. And, but you can't, you know, you're trying to prove your love to this person. But it's like that person could, pro could even leave you for somebody else and you done missed your whole whole chance to get a scholarship. And you could have been a famous basketball player and you could have found you a better woman and all that stuff. But now you probably gonna have to struggle, work a nine to five, try to, you know, don't ever put your life on hold for nobody. That person didn't choose you or will. Okay. Um, <laughs> looking told divine oh so they were looking for divine feminine at one point because they was like why is she not coming around i know she hear me pretending to be him telling her to come around so that i could see you know all this other stuff and blah 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 whole bunch of bullshit so when i was told that divine now that could have been the enemy telling them yeah she passed the way she did what y'all wanted her to do so that they could get their hook or something. I don't know. They was probably told that so that they could release Divine Masculine. And then the Masculine was going to find Divine Feminine. And say, dang, I thought this ain't a third. And, but they're going to realize, like, you was just in the house, out the streets, out the way. Manifesting your own stuff. Trying to get your money right. And not with all these distractions because you found out how people in this area are and it's like why would i want to deal with y'all when i got other shit that i'm trying to accomplish and yeah i don't need a nigga but it would be nice to have a partner go on this journey with me so i'm not lonely and by myself and you know i could have fun and experience things and you know. but when you got to do this by yourself bring your own personality out realize your own traumas realize your own Problem and all that stuff like that. And he said, now you didn't realize that by yourself. Yeah, bitch. You only know because your energy was attached to this karmic feminine or BM number two. And she was looking into my life. So, the, yeah, the shit that you got off this bitch before you left and took with you to this karmic. Uh, they can't take it. Yeah, they can't take it no more. Because they know that this union is going to come to an end. healing he not communicating with them no more the black magic ain't working up he's starting to speak to himself he's starting to tell these hoes like what y'all did and right y'all bogus as hell y'all uh all this karma and all that stuff like that because he's starting to realize stuff and he defended his self because mm -hmm. yeah his mental his mental is like yeah uh everything like i'm about to you know Cause he could be praying like heavenly father please this and the third and blah 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 and it's like don't talk to me talk to your uh your master or whatever like 
And then he's questioning, like, why is God telling me not to come to him when I've been doing everything in my power under his law? And it's like, well, maybe that bitch over there is using your energy for something else. And it got me confused because when I look into your Akashic records, I see the two over here thinking about switching teams. And he's like, switching teams? I know I ain't gay. No, I ain't bisexual. I know I don't like me. I love me some women. I like when they like that shit because then I get to have multiple females at once. But me switching teams? No, 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 no. Mm. Then we got the draw four. That he's punishing himself and feeling like a stupid goofy for believing what they said instead of getting another divine feminine because he was saying like whenever i'm with her i don't get those type of vibes and it's like yeah she was going back and forth between me and my cousin which they just found out that it was cousin so how am i gonna post to know something that you didn't even know the one of wands confidence open-minded fertility opportunities a positive parental figure Passion, misguided, missed opportunity, boring, stagnant, disappointment, whichever one of those fits into your story. Um, he's saying that the reason he didn't choose Divine Feminine, he ended up being in that situation anyways. So maybe if, you know, since Divine Feminine isn't really like that, I could redeem myself and you know, something like that. I don't know anymore and I don't here dang i was supposed to do i'm gonna do those next sweet so like with this karmic he feels tension tight like stressed out like I always having to mind what he say or do or something like that and it's like, hey. and then i heard dang you trying to make amends with your baby daddy and it's like nigga Ain't nobody finna sit here and wait for you all day. 